Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing 20 beauty hacks. I am so excited for this video because you guys seem to love all of my hacks. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can be notified when I upload more videos. I love you guys so much and let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so the first hack is one of my personal favorites. If you have ran out of lipstick, all you need to do is take a really pigmented blush, your favorite lip balm and mix it up to make a little concoction. And this was so pigmented and so moisturizing. I really love this one. And to top it off, the color was stunning. The next hack is going in with your favorite sunless tanner and I'm just going to take an old makeup brush so that I can get dirty, pump a little bit onto a tissue and blend it out so we don't have it too much. Then I'm just going to apply it like a bronzer so I can have some natural definition to the face just for the days where I don't want to wear makeup at all. It's just a bit of a glow as well. So just putting this under my cheekbones and jawbone, then I'm taking a tissue to clean a little bit under my cheekbones so it's a little bit more clean but I'm making sure that it is still nice and blended. And and voila. Let's go ahead and make our own cream blush. So I'm just taking a rosy pink lipstick and warming it up on the back of my hand so it blends into the cheeks easier and just going in with a stippling brush. So I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it back. And this just adds a beautiful, a luminous glow. And at the same time, it's gonna give you a nice flush of color as well. If you feel like your foundation isn't as full coverage as you'd like, just go ahead and take a medium to full coverage powder, dust a little bit into the foundation, mix it up, and it is gonna add so much more coverage to your face. So on this side, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the powder. As you can see, it isn't covering as much. I like a light coverage foundation, but obviously sometimes you wanna switch it up. So on this side, you can obviously see that there's no skin poking through at all. It just makes the foundation a lot thicker, and you do have to use a little bit more foundation so you're going to be using more product at the end of the day but it definitely definitely does work so this one is really weird but trust me it works so I'm just taking a tampon and some nail polish remover and using this to take off my nail polish I actually had gel on so it wasn't coming off but just an example if you don't have any cotton balls left this works well and it's better than using tissues as well because tissues leaves little balls behind no thanks girl all right let's go ahead and draw on some faux freckles so I'm just taking a bobby pin opening it up and then using a dip brow pomade and dipping it in and just going in all over my face I think freckles are absolutely beautiful if you do have natural freckles I think they're stunning and if you don't that's stunning as well but if you do want to play around with makeup this is a perfect way to do it it's really easy just go in with a stippling brush and blend them out a little bit so they look a little bit more natural this one is for everyone that has really naturally straight lashes so what I'm gonna do on this side is just curl my lashes normally as you can see on me this works perfectly fine as it is because I naturally have kind of curly lashes but if you do have straight lashes go ahead and take a blow dryer onto your eyelash curler make sure it isn't hot just make sure it's a little bit warm you do not want to burn your eyes make sure you check it first and this honestly like perms my lashes like not permanently but for the day they stay so curly now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a regular eyeshadow and what I'm gonna do to make it more pigmented is draw a white eyeliner down first as the base and then I'm just gonna put it directly over the top. So as you can see, it definitely shows up a lot more but this is only gonna work for really bright colors. Another weird one, so I'm just gonna take a liner. The thinner the liner, the better. So I'm just gonna cut the edges off with some scissors, put it on the back of my hand so it's not too sticky, and I'm gonna use this as a shadow shield so it's gonna catch any eyeshadow that falls down. What a great creation. If you don't have a steady hand just like I do and you wanna contour your nose, just take an eyeshadow brush and use that as a guide when you're contouring. So I'm just taking a dark concealer and then blending it in with a beauty blender and it is so straight and so perfect. No time to mess up, all right? Now to clean up the contour, another tip that I have is going in with some translucent powder and just running this right next to the contour. So don't put it on top because that's gonna defeat the purpose because it will brighten it a little bit, but just beside. So leave it on for five minutes and your nose is gonna be snatched. If your foundation is too dark for you, just go in with any light concealer and mix a little bit into the foundation and it will be matching perfectly in no time. This one is a really basic hack, but I feel like a lot of people forget it, including myself. So 
There you go, doll. If you have a really dried up liquid lipstick, just go in with your favorite lip balm, coat your lips and apply it like you normally would. This way it's going to be really moisturizing on the lips and it's going to be so much easier to apply. This one is another personal favorite of mine. So I'm taking eyeshadow and using this to highlight my face. So sometimes I think that this actually works just as well, if not better than an actual highlighter. Well, some, because some highlighters are bomb, but this looks stunning. You can use any like champagne -y light shades and they work perfectly. Another baking hack, so going back in with my translucent powder, I'm using this to clean up any of the eyeshadow that may have came out a little bit too far. So just using my beauty blender and it's really gonna sharpen that line, but it's not gonna be too harsh. So while that's baking, let's move on to another hack. I'm just taking some eye drops and a black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna scrape that off and mix a little bit of eye drops in there. And this is gonna create a little bit of a mascara, but it's not gonna add any texture or anything. It's just gonna really blacken up those lashes because you know, if you run out of mascara, you need something on the lashes to make them super dark. Oh, this is so random, but I'm just taking a toothbrush and coating them like I would with mascara. They're not long, but they're definitely black. Now going back in to clean up that translucent powder, just being really gentle because I don't want to move any of that concealer. And hello, darling, a clean line that's not too sharp. So the next hack is making any fluffy brush a contour brush so what I'm gonna do is take a bobby pin open it up and I'm just gonna pinch the sides of the brushes this is so weird I was like what am I doing but the brush was fine after it doesn't ruin it or anything I'm just really pinching it so we can get a nice to fine line when we're contouring and it's not going to be blown out too far if you have any dried up old eyeliners go ahead and take a lighter and try not to actually set it on fire like I did the first time. Just run under the lighter really, really quickly for literally not even a second. And then you're gonna have a nice creamy eyeliner. Right here, I have another eyeliner hack. So I'm just taking a metallic eyeliner and going in and filling my lips in because I feel like metallic lips are cool, but I don't wanna buy a liquid lipstick that's metallic just because I don't use it that often. So I feel like it's not really worth the money, but this actually does look really cool. And it was surprisingly comfortable on the lips. It's just not gonna last as long, but it still works. If you have dirty makeup brushes and a spare block of soap laying around, I definitely recommend using that to clean the brushes. I love this Dove one because it is really moisturizing and it's gonna clean the brushes at the same time. And to top it off, it's gonna take two seconds because you're literally just holding it there, swirling, swirling, done. This is a hack that you guys have probably seen on my channel before. So I'm just gonna take a pressed powder and I'm using this to basically bake underneath my bronzer, but instead it's like so much easier. So I'm just gonna clean up any bronzer that may have gone down a little bit too far and it is so much easier. Next hack and the last hack of all, if you have a liquid lipstick that is really hard to take off, all you have to do is put on some lip balm over the top, let it soak in and then wipe it straight off with some tissue or toilet paper and boom girl, it's off. So here we have the finished hacks. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something new or at least found this video entertaining. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.